Hi Land, this is a video on SketchUp uh, models that we're doing. Uh, in your SketchUp, uh, whether you have the professional, the pro version or the standard version, you should have these three buttons. Uh, in the pro version, the three of them are active. In the standard version, only two of them are. And you don't get access to this third one. So you only need these two here anyhow. Uh, this one here is for animating objects so mix them open or close make the drawer there and so you can show it in a design the next one is for changing the uh, the cap the wall cabinet so in this case we've got a wall cabinet here so this here is the select tool the black arrow this one is the move tool click on it, it changes to that. So those are the two tools that we'll be looking at. The select tool that selects the object and then once it's highlighted in blue I can change it. If you haven't got these three buttons shown on your SketchUp go up to the view toolbar and click on this dynamic components button. That will show you it. Okay. So let's put it drag it up onto the bar there so it's up here now so I'm going to I need a wall cabinet say so I select the wall and now I can configure it I can configure the depth there just by changing we've got two pre determined depths 350 select it apply it and it moves accordingly so let's go back to 300 I have a choice of three different heights I've got 900 and 575 so Select 900, and then adjust it, adjust it down to 900. Um, the cabinet width, I've got a choice of 150. Let's apply that. 150 up to 500 or 600. So apply that. So you've got all those different configurations, and then you've got the different door thicknesses. I might add, I might add on here door, uh, was it door thickness of zero, so then that the door doesn't actually show at all. In all that you see is the carcass. Maybe might be worth having that. And then the final thing we have here is the height position on the wall. So if you wanted to have that cabinet up at two three zero zero, which is the standard height, you just type it in, click apply, and it moves it up there. So I'm going to go back to two one two zero two one two zero. There we go. So that's how to adjust that. If you want to rotate um, the cabinet, you just type in whatever way you want to go, 45 degrees, apply, and it knocks it on 45 degrees. Once you've done that, then you can move it into position wherever you want to place the cabinet. And I'll show you how to move and position. Uh, okay, so let's go back to zero, apply. Okay, that's the wall cabinets. The same goes to the base cabinets. Base cabinet here, we've got we've got a fixed determined depth at 560, so we're not able to change the depth of these on the style of cabinet to lay on doors. Um, but we can change the width and change the height. So we can change the height that to say 360. Apply. So if you wanted to do two small ones or small step down on the worktop you can go to 575 steps down more or less leaves the drawer off so you can have a step down on your worktop so let's go back to that the other thing is your height position well at the moment here the base of the cabinet is 150 off the ground so I could put in there 300 and it moves it up off the ground. You can see that. And then let's go back again. 150. Okay, and then we've also got one with a drawer here and then one with double doors. So let's just change the width of this here to a thousand. Apply. Then it changes it and it should all work. Change the thickness to 18 the all all faces change automatically 18 apply okay 
that's that. Um, that's how you can change the configurations of it. Uh, we're going to do corner cabinets and various or what types of cabinets like pan drawers and, and that as well. So we'll, we'll do that as we go. Well, and we'll build up a catalog of configurable components. So in all in all, we probably only need about probably I don't know, 12 different types of cabinets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a couple of more different types of ladder units, a couple of corner cabinets, and basically we've got a whole whole array of different configurable cabinets, so we don't need to go to a, into a, a database trying to draw out a cabinet, we just configure a wall cabinet if we're working on it, and uh, we can make it to wherever we want. So that should save you searching through databases for cabinets, configurations, if we can come up with as many configurations on each one of these. So at the moment that there's got, it's got one, two, three, seven, seven different widths, uh, two different depths, so that's 14 different cabinet configurations that way, and then three different heights. So 14 times three is 30, that's 42 different configurations, 42 cabinets all in one. So you can see, um, it's got, it should save a lot of work uh, of searching for cabinets. Okay, that's that little video. Uh, I wanted to just also show you how to move cabinets. If you uh, click on the, use select, click on the thing you want to move, then click on the move. You pick up where you want to move it and then click. So it's that simple. So leave it over there, if I click, and then click. That's one way of moving it. The other way of moving it, say if I've got a 800 wall unit here and I want to put another 800 next to it, I can actually just hover over it like that. Press my control key to make a copy, and then click and drag in that direction where it shows a little red arrow, little red dots in the direction of the red axis. And then I can type in the distance I want to move it. So I'm going to move it 800. So it puts it up exactly 800 away. So that's a quick way of doing it and more ex a more exact way of doing it. And now I've got my 800 and I can configure this all at 800. Say I want to make that a 1000. And there it goes. So it should be that quick to do. That's it for now. And we'll leave it at that.